Welcome to this tutorial. Let's start by understanding how to set up your canvas and output display in HeavyM2. First, you need to make sure that your computer's display settings are properly configured. Select Extend these displays on Windows or untick Mirror displays on Mac. For more tips on these settings, please check the link in the description below. The first thing you should do before starting the work is to make sure that your rendering will fit your output. To do this, let's start by setting up the canvas. Do you see this black zone? This is the canvas. Basically, it's your work area. It also corresponds to what is displayed in your output. Just below the toolbar, you'll find the canvas size indicator. By default, the resolution is 1920 by 1080, which is perfect if you're using a projector with the same resolution. But let's say your projector output is 1280 by 800. All you need to do is click on the projector icon here to access the canvas setting. In this window, you have all the canvas and output setup parameters, which we'll dive into in a minute. But for now, we simply want to change the canvas size to match our output display. So we can do it here. and click on OK. Now, let's move on to the last step before you start working, setting up your output display. Open the output settings by clicking on the projector icon. First off, let's have a quick overview of the output setup module to give you an idea of all the available features. We just saw the canvas settings section where you can set up the resolution of the canvas and choose to display the test card in the output to help you in the calibration steps. Here's the screen setup area. This is where you'll set up the number of screens you want and on which area you want them to display by placing them precisely on the canvas. You have the screen settings section where you'll be able to adjust the settings of a selected screen, its destination, its position, its orientation, its name, or even its color. The warping section contains the settings relative to the distortion of a selected screen. And finally, the edge blending section, which contains the settings relative to the blending of a selected screen. But let's get back to our output display. Select the screen one, which represents your display, and assign it to your projector, the drop-down list then click on OK. There will be projects where one projector won't be enough and where you need more. In those cases, you can add as many screens as you want in the output setup. But let's start with just an additional one of 1920 by 1080. As you can see, a second screen has appeared and we need to adjust the canvas size so we can work on both. Two screens of 1920 by 1080 makes for a canvas size of 3840 by 1080. Then, click on the first screen to assign it to a projector, and click on the second screen to assign it to another projector. Then click on OK. For your most ambitious projects, just know that you can activate the edge blending mode that will enable you to merge your different screens, but we'll cover that in another more advanced tutorial, for which you can check out the link in the description. Finally, you have the option of the Window node. To activate it, go to the Output tab and click on Window. As its name suggests, this means that your rendering will be displayed in a separate window on your desktop. This display mode is very convenient to preview your work if you don't have a projector. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more help resources or visit our help center to learn more about Heavy M2.